Okay folks, so next week I want to plan a meeting and one of the best things about Woven is the scheduling is built in so you don't have to go to another application. This is one of the reasons I personally chose it because I actually initially looked at a calendar scheduling tool called Calendly which was popular with a lot of podcast organizers and also those who run a YouTube channel to organize interviews and uh, also marginally popular with uh, sales consultants and individuals in the workplace. And I thought that was a good application. But at the same time, I was like really impressed because Woven actually has it inside of the application and I can manage my calendar, but also schedule events, which I was pretty um, attracted to instead of using two separate applications and, and potentially paying more at the same time. So if I went over to the one-time scheduling link, this is perfect for a single meeting. So if I was, for example, having a meeting with Bob, I could title it here. And as you can see, um, it would bring up any other event. So for example, let me just um, you know bring up, say I was trying to plan bowling. It actually brings up past events that you can have. And what's cool is it pre-populates it with the information that you need to know. So for example, if I did want to plan a new bowling event, it automatically detects that typically our bowling sessions are two hours and 15 minutes. Um, it offers some available times, but also chooses when and how it's available. But as you can see, I've already got bowling planned for this period of time. So let's go ahead and, and discard that. But you can always save that as a draft if you want to. So if I go ahead and save that as a draft, you can find that by pressing Shift and R. And at any time you get the drafts up there. So if I press Shift and A, you can see that I can go back to the shared links, but if I wanted to, I could press the one-time scheduling link again. And let's try to organize this meeting with Bob. So once I press enter, you can see here that it comes up with a few, few defaults and we can actually change them later on, but for now, we'll demonstrate how this works. So I'm actually gonna choose the time for the meeting and I'm gonna say this meeting with Bob is 45 minutes long. Now 45 minutes long is a good amount of time for a meeting. And uh, as you can see, um, you can go and either offer the available times or choose the available times. And I always tend to choose the available times. But if I went to offer, you can see that it basically picks out all available times on your calendar, no matter what um, the information. But you can also see here that if you were to go with this option, that would be cutting it a bit fine. You know, the train being, you know, so close to this one, I wouldn't be able to catch it because I'd have to leave the house. So one of the things that you can do is go to this work or available times and then set a buffer time. So let's say you wanted a 30 minute buffer so that just in case you uh, you know actually didn't get caught out, you can see that anything within half an hour of each of these has moved around, which is really helpful. Um, and you, up here, you can also change the time. So let's say you work, start work at nine, it eradicates any of the nines. And let's say you finish work at 6, 6.30 and it produces more, but takes into account the buffer time as well. And also, let's say you don't work Wednesdays, it can eradicate Wednesdays and you work Saturdays. So it actually plans around that. You can change the time zone as well, which is very helpful. So if you want to change it to, um, you know, LA time, say you're organizing that meeting, then you can do it at any given point. So you can also, and what I find particularly helpful is the no sooner than. Um, so for example, let's say you're like, actually, I've already got too many meetings today and I'll probably be meeting out. I might say one day from now or five hours from now so that they can't actually book those first five hours so that you're not sort of overwhelmed and automatically, for example, this is helpful for people who might want to prepare for the meeting. But the same goes to this as well. So for example, you could say, I want it only two days from now. So anything from Thursday will pop up. And you can also set it as well from no later than say two weeks from now. So if I were to scrubble ahead, there is no availability after two weeks. And that could be useful for if you're planning holidays and things like that. And you can change any of these settings over the time. And what's great is people can go in and pick that. And we'll show you what that looks like for the end user at the end of this video. But what I typically like to do is press choose specific times. And that's actually really helpful because for me, I, I quite like to batch them around meetings I already have. So for example, I get normally we'll put one here. So you can see here that one appears. And what's quite nice is the available times appear in this suggestion pot. So you can add more and more suggestions um, and even 
uh, you know, choose some of the suggestions that they have here. So they automatically try and pick ones out when you're free. So uh, that's a helpful feature as well. But as you can see here, I can also go and plot it around this meeting and this meeting here. And as you can see, they've got three times that they can work with here. So traditionally, what you can do is you can associate it to the calendar. So for example, if I wanted to pick a calendar that it was most connected to and also give it a color as well. So it could actually change the color of the meetings that I work with, which might be useful for you. So that's pretty handy if you want to be able to add people to all of your invites and they will get invites via email. You can also add conferencing as well. And this is actually one that I preset. So it gives a little bit of instruction to if I was organizing a podcast interview so that they can see any of the notes. But here I can actually add a personal link and phone number and they have a Google Hangouts connection as well. So that's pretty handy. Now I can also add a location as well. So for example, if I wanted to add the location of London, Spitalfields, let's say, Spitalfields Market, as you can see, uh, that's going to be fairly handy because I find an actual map right here and be able to detect it. And I can even add whether it's a work event. Um, for example, you can actually set a work address so that it helps to sort of plan that out. So for example, if I said um, my work address is Liverpool Street, London, there we go, and I save the address, uh, that will come in handy later. So I'll come back to that, but that's handy when you're looking to sort of organize home and work events. You've also got reminders as well. So reminders is helpful if you're looking to, uh, you know, get a nudge made two hours before the event and can even add private tags too, which might be useful. So this could be under meetings. And as you can see here, that meetings po pops up there. And finally, you can actually add in notes as well. So you can add in any relevant notes that might be useful for the meeting or that might be useful for the person at the end of the line to be able to understand. And that's also on top of this sort of conferencing that they'll get as well. So you can also show the travel on the map as so you can also show the travel on the map. You can ignore it if you want to, but that's an option. It can also show as uh, busy or free uh, on your calendar if that interrupts people. But uh, you can go ahead and create the link. And as you can see, it's really simple. You can go back and edit the details if you want to. You can copy this URL or you can send it by email. So let's show you what the other person sees at the end of the line. So for somebody that is viewing this and maybe looking to pick one of these dates, you can see here that they have information uh, like the, the map and also the information on the conferencing and also those three dates in a two week view, but they can also view it in whatever week uh, view they want. So for example, if they went ahead and chose this one, they could add their details and names here. So if I said Bob, at bob at bob.com and they go ahead and schedule it as you can see that bob has been taken and you can see here bob smith has been invited and also the uh, information is all available but you can also sign up to woven if you want to there which might be helpful so you're probably wondering whether i can see any of those details the other end and as you can see if i pop that open you can see bob smith has been invited to that event and you can see all of the relevant information. So that's pretty handy for being able to organize and coordinate meetings, and that's just something that you can keep continually updated. For example, you can say whether you're going, whether you're not going, and uh, whether you're, it's a maybe, or you can even go ahead and reschedule. So you can cancel the event and move it. And you can even duplicate it as well as create a template out of that or remove any fields. Rescheduling is pretty easy. All you have to do is cancel the event and then you can go ahead and uh, click into this Bob versus Bob and you can see the uh, event details. But all you have to do is go ahead and uh, go and choose another time. So what's cool is it will pop up inside of this uh, planning area and you can see it available in drafts. So that's something to note and you'll also be able to see it in shared as well. Um, so that's pretty handy. So at any given time, if you want to see uh, the details inside of the planning, uh, for example, the Bob uh, Francesco meeting, you can see it inside of updates and it will also be tagged as planning because it's not fully planned yet, if that makes sense. 
So in the next feature, guys, we're going to show you how to use the Doodle group base feature. I call it Doodle because it's very similar. And this will help you to plan and choose specific events that will help you um, to find a time that's most suitable for all of you. But hopefully that was helpful and I look forward to teaching you all about that next.